Welcome to this lesson. In this video, I will take you in captivating tour of geography of France. France is the third largest European country after Russia, Ukraine, but it's the largest European Union country with a covering area of 641,885 square kilometers. But France is not only located in Europe. Through its overseas territories, France is also in America, in Indian and Pacific Ocean, covering the largest economic exclusive zone in the world. But let's come back to the main territory within Europe, the second largest economy in the European Union after Germany. France is also named the hexagon due to a roughly hexagonal shape with six sides and also the, the territory is composed of 12 regions and with an island in the Mediterranean Sea named Corsica or in French Corse, also named L'Ile de Beauté, the Island of Beauty. You can also find five major rivers. Firstly, we have the Seine River, the iconic river which flows through the heart of Paris, the most visited city in the world, the capital of France, the largest European Union with over 12 million people, the home of the main French company like Renault, Total and others, and the capital of fashion with Hermès, Coco Chanel, Louis Vuitton, it also, Paris was also chosen to host the Olympics in the summer 2024. Another river, river that I want to introduce you is the Loire River, the longest river in France and famous for actually its historic, spectacular, historic castle. Another river is also the Rhone River, passing through the Swiss Alps, going through Lyon, and finishing near the Marseille, the capital of South of France. And not far from Marseille, you have the French Riviera, included Nice, the tiny luxury state of Monaco, and also Cannes for its film festival. You have the Garonne River, which is actually passed through Toulouse, named the Pink City, and flows until Bordeaux, well known for its wine. Finally, you have the Rhine River, making the border between France and Germany and flowing through the city of Strasbourg. Most of these rivers actually have their source in the mountain range, which most of them are actually located in the border. For example, you have the Pyrenees, the border between Spain and France. You can also find the Alps, the Jura, and the Vosges in the border with Italy, Switzerland, and Germany. But you also have two mountain ranges, which is entirely located in France. First, the Massif Central, which is actually in the center of France. And then you have the Massif Armoricain, located in a lovely Brittany, famous for its delicious crepe. Do not forget also that the highest summit of all Western Europe is also located in France. This is the well-known Mont Blanc. The majority of the French territory is actually a big plain with a fertile soil that encouraged agriculture. That's why France is famous for its gastronomy. Climate and geography of each region play a significant role in this culinary tradition. That's why each region prides itself on its own dish. France is also known for its incredibly variety of cheese, over than 1,200 kinds of cheese. 
France has a long history of wine making, which date which back centuries ago. And do not forget the baguette, which is the iconic symbol of French bread. To finish today's presentation, let's talk about the climate and the weather in France. In south of France, you have the Mediterranean climate with hot summer and mild winter. Whereas in the mountain areas, you have cold winter with cool summer. In the east side of France, you have the continental climate with actually hot summer and cold winter. Whereas the rest and the majority of the French territory is actually the oceanic climate with mild summer and mild winter. So next time you go to France, do not forget to take your umbrella or your sunglasses. Merci à vous et à très bientôt.